I became fascinated with, with cephalopods um, when I went to a symposium and I walked into a seminar by a scientist named Roger Hanlon um, and he does research on these animals and he was showing some of their amazing communication and color changing abilities, how essentially a cephalopod could uh, practically disappear and be completely invisible or look exactly like an algae covered rock. Um, and it was just so amazing that you know, I, I knew I had to work on some aspect of these animals. Prior to that, I was working on uh, organic solar cells um, and a lot of organic electronic materials, um, which actually ended up being a great background for some of the research we're currently doing. What made me pivot to this research was just the excitement that I felt, you know, seeing the abilities of some of these animals. It was like something straight out of a science fiction movie. And that just really motivated me and, and drove me to, to work on them. One of the things that I'm most passionate about is uh, exploring uh, proteins that are found in cephalopods and learning basic concepts from them and then trying to translate some of those basic concepts into new types of technologies um, and distilling those engineering principles uh, into something unique that people can actually use and that they, that they can wear or that they can apply in their daily lives. UCI Applied Innovation has helped by allowing us to properly secure our intellectual property um, as well as giving us guidance uh, in terms of potentially pursuing follow-on funding um, in the future. And so we haven't necessarily taken advantage of those opportunities yet, but that's something that, that we're going to do.